check out the Kramer Cam on Mad Money tonight. Jim Kramer is sitting down with the CEO of one hot pot company, Med Men. That kicks off at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And this as pot stocks are topping the tape. The stock's soaring on the possibility that the Canadian government could legalize recreational marijuana as soon as this week. Canopy Growth, GW Pharma, Med Relief, Afria, all moving higher. Uh, do you keep betting? It, it cleared the House of Commons in Canada. Now, it's set now for the go Senate. back to the Senate. Yeah. Who, who's uh, already articulated 45 or 46 amendments that they'd like to see to this bill, but it's going to happen. Um, it may not happen in the short term. Look, the, the story here for the Canadian producers is the addressable market outside of Canada. Um, and if you look at the big boys, they're the ones that, you know, Germany's probably the largest market in terms of the medical access. Obviously, most of Europe is starting to turn. There's been some news out in the U.K. about a boy who's denied his epilepsy medicine, his oil, and it was taken from him at Heathrow. He finally got it back. But there's a lot of pressure in the U.K. to legalize, and I think this is really the story. It's happening everywhere. Guy? Right, listen, you know, we did a power pitch on GW, GW Pharma, Pharma yeah. a while ago. I think the stock was trading 115. I think it, it peaked about 160. These stocks, they're, they're real businesses, and you're gonna, we're going to come in here one day, mm -hmm. and the lead of this show is going to be Budweiser makes an investment in the cannabis space. We're all going to talk about it. What does it mean for spirits? What does it mean for pharmaceuticals? It's a yeah, real Constellation's story already there. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, already they, there. they're first one into the, into the pool. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.